Hey, what's up guys with a Hall You Blast. I'm Serge. And I'm Oscar, and today we are reacting to a new music video from Brave Girls, but it is not a new song. It is their song, Roland, which actually came out about a year ago, I want to say. Oh. And I saw this came out, and I was surprised, because I was like, wait, this already has a music video, and then it's a new version. I'm kind of guessing this is just the version without the two members that actually recently left. I think it was Head On... And who was the other one? Get on and Eugen, okay. But um, Serge actually knows nothing about this group. I actually like this group a lot, but I just, they haven't really been doing a lot, so it's one of those things where I don't really follow them as closely anymore. But uh, I don't know, let's just get into this one. I don't remember if I like this song either. New version. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen this before. Yeah, I've never seen a song get redone. I wonder. Or heard of a song get redone. I don't know. Oh, okay, I can't remember this song. Or is you not? Oh. oh no, she's there. I'm beginning to think that I have heard this song recently. I've probably played it before. Am I tripping or there's only four? That there. confirms it. <laughs> only. What? So did another member leave? Hmm. Oh no, there's Yuna. She just has longer hair. That's why I didn't recognize her. I mean, sir, you're always having really short hair. Why is there only shots of four girls? I don't know. See? <laughs> oh, there's a fifth girl right Wait. there. <laughs> I am stumped, Oscar. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think they redid the song too. I don't remember it sounding like this. Unless I'm tripping. I mean, I'm always tripping, so I don't know. It's very true. Yeah, I'm not used to having one. So there's only four. What? Did another member just sleep? Or that's huh? Maybe she was busy or something? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, these are only four members, guys. <laughs> Let's see, Min Young, Yu Jung, I remember Jung, Unji, really... Yuna, and Ha Young. Why was there only four girls? Huh. Alright, we're gonna figure this out. Hold we're on. Five minutes later. Alright, so we figured out what happened. Ha Young was actually having health problems, so she wasn't in the music video. I got a little freaked out, yeah. not gonna lie, because I was like, wait, <laughs> this went from like, a s wait, two, three, five, five, six. Okay, so this went from a seven member group down to two, four. Five, four, yeah. And I was like, wait, 
They only lost two members, so they're five. Why is there another member missing? I was so confused. Oh, but now that I can move past that, the new version, they literally added like saxophone to it, and I that was kind of it. I didn't hear the original, so I can't really. This is more. Yeah, than I mean, me. I probably should have listened to the music video, but I, I mean, I to. didn't. I didn't think they were gonna change the song. Mm -hmm. Like, I really just thought they were gonna redo the music video, which I already thought was a little weird. It's curious. Like, why didn't they just give the girls a comeback? Why did they just revamp this song? I really do not know, and I really hate that. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense from from a. I, guess, I like. I don't know. It doesn't really make. It doesn't really make sense from. I guess a business standpoint. Because especially if the original song didn't do as well, why would they remake it? And the only thing I can see is they're testing the waters to see what people want. And the way I see it, this is like, we're, if we don't, if you guys don't get good feedback from this, we're probably like this group isn't gonna go anywhere. Like that's the only thing I can think of because mm -hmm. I really don't know why a company would re-release. Did do you a know if Rodin video. did well? And I don't think it did. I mean. Brave Girls, they're not super big. super big at all, I think. Um, I mean, because I started, they've been around for a while, I think 2011. Also, oh, But I cool. only started listening to them around Deepened. I think that was the song. It was Deepened, High Heels, and then Rollin'. Those are the three comebacks I've been around for. It. The more I think about it, because I know we, when we were looking at their profiles earlier, uh, we do know that at least four of the members are older than both you and I, yeah. or at least two of them are the same ages as, as, as we are. Um, I think uh, Min Young is, was born in 1990. There isn't many groups that we react to nowadays that are older than you and I are. There's a few I mean, exceptions. There's... The ones that are, if you think about it, they're like, they've been around for a while. They started when they were, I mean, younger, of course. Mm -hmm. I, I think the best example is usually Girls' Day, besides <laughs> the exception of um, Sojin. Who's They're all older? pretty much our age, mm -hmm. like, Hyeri... I think we're older than Hyeri, I think Yura's the same age. I think Hyeri's right? the same age as me, actually, because she's 94. Then um, Yura and Mina are Yura. 93, I believe. Yeah. Mina's... That's the mean 92? Mina, no, Mina's 93, she was born... <laughs> I know, because, you know, uh, she's, o she's only a couple more months older than I am. And then Yura is 93? She should be 93 as well. And then Kedi is 94, and is 94, yeah. so of course, such a Sojin. <laughs> Sojin, yeah. And then there's also, of course, Irene from Red Velvet, who is older than the rest of the members, I believe. She's 20. Well, yeah, She's I guess Red Velvet. I think we could use Red Velvet as a good example, because mm -hmm. Joy's actually younger than me. Joy's I actually guess. 95, I think. 90, I think she's 95. Mm. And then, well, is there Yeti's any, younger. Any other groups? Uh, Solji. Solji. Solji is... Sogi's She, I think she's 94. I think she's 95. Is she 95? I think so. I don't know. They're they're pretty much like they're, around. They're, oh yeah, they're all our age, age except except or a Irene. little bit younger. Except than Irene. Irene. <laughs> Irene, yeah, with the exception. <laughs> Is there any other groups that we? There's a. I mean, there's guy groups. There's Big Bang, of course. Uh, oh, Big Bang's older than us. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, okay. no, uh, Super Junior, of course. Uh, who else have we reacted? I mean, to? closely. And then, uh, yeah, another guy group our age close is uh, BTS. I think BTS Suga is... and Jin are older than we are. That might be true. I think that because I think, think J Hope is ninety four, mm -hmm. and then Twice we're older they... than all of them. I think. We're older than all of them, but they're really close to our age because mm -hmm. they're all ninety. I think let's see, ninety five. All the way to 98 mm -hmm. yeah they're all 95 98 mm -hmm. so they're they're pretty close but of course they're still yeah I guess like not totally the same age mm -hmm. but it's usually these groups that have been around for a longer time that are gonna be our age mm -hmm. for the most part I mean, we're not we, older both 94 I, I, mean, I would say both you and I are probably second generation k-poppers I want to say I would say that's fair to say. Well, that we're not. That's like, usually more of when you got into K-pop. I guess so. So that's that doesn't. That's well, I mean, nice. I don't really favor the older styles of music. I want to say. That's so then you would technically be like third or fourth. I don't really know how the, it gets tricky, but you would actually technically be like third or fourth because it's usually whenever you get into. It. I don't know. I watched the Sorry. I watched the panel about this <laughs> at KCon New Jersey. 
and they were explaining it and it was just super confusing. I still don't <laughs> I still don't exactly get how the whole generation thing works. It if you understand after I think after generation three, which is people say we are in and currently not in, like they don't know if we've already separated from generation three, because that's basically like BTS twice. I'm just gonna use those as like Because they are probably like the biggest this, groups around. Yeah, because they're the biggest groups like that era. And then they don't really know when that ends. Like That's they true. don't know if we're in generation four yet. Uh -huh. It's I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's interesting just, to think about actually. It, it's pretty interesting, but on. it's it's kind of weird though. Yeah. But uh, back to this. Yeah, like, sorry, I, got off topic. I I really don't know why. Mm. It it really does suck because I really did like their previous songs. Rolling, not gonna lie, I wasn't a huge fan of. I really wasn't. I I like the song, but coming from Deep End and High Heels and what's rolling, I was like, eh. But it, it kind of really did bug me out just seeing that this is literally just a rehash with some saxophone, mm -hmm. honestly, in a new music video. And you know, I, I mean, I, there wasn't anything wrong with the song. I mean, it was, it was fine. Yeah, I, it's it, not. It, it's really it's, not bad. It was kind of just a normal song to me. I, I didn't really see anything yeah. strong about it. The the rolling chorus could have could have been a different way. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, I think that might have been this group in a nutshell. They've been, they're not bad, but. I don't think anything's really stuck out except for me deep in. Mm. That song is really great. I need to listen to it though. And then it went to high heels, and that song honestly kind of felt normal. It was just the music video that I enjoyed because I liked the members. Mm. And then roll in. It was it was good, but it wasn't amazing mm. honestly. But if I were to rate this song now, I'd probably I think I'd give it a eight. I guess I don't know. I think I might be a little bit more harsh and give it a seven. Seven? I didn't really, like, the song was fine. I didn't really notice any strong parts. I don't really feel inclined to listen to it again. Yeah. I am going to give Deep End a high heel chance. Yes. Now that you said, because you spoke highly of Deep End, so I will go back. And if it's as good as you say it is, because you, you know, I mean, you and I both typically have the same interest when it comes to K pop. All right, guys. So the video kind of really ends here. When we were recording this, our camera actually died. But um, that was actually pretty much all our thoughts in a nutshell. You know, we really did wish Brave Girls would have got an actual comeback instead of this rehash. Like, really, hopefully this is just like um, an indication that they're gonna have a comeback soon. Cause you know, I do like this group and I really want them to succeed. So hopefully they have another comeback after this. But um, make sure to tell us what you guys thought about this whole re-release in general down below, especially if you follow Brave Girls, because I know when I was reading the comments for the actual video, music video, people were kind of disappointed that this was just like a, it's a rehash, honestly. I don't know how other better way to put it. They're just redoing another music video they've done before in a song. Just, I mean, they did change the song a little bit, not, not a whole lot, honestly. But um, yeah, make sure to tell us below what you thought about it. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Leave some feedback below. Hit that like and sub button. And that's all. See you later.